the other conservative states in the nation. Really? Sure. The gentleman who moved out of the state, David Tom Evans, he's not running. Okay, I'm not running. He moved out of the state. He had another gentleman who vacated the seat because he was running for state senate. Why would you just. But you're not. You're not. Or are you suggesting another candidate along with you? Why? No, I'm not running along with anyone else. Okay, fine. I just want to make sure. I'm an individual. I do have that four competitors doing that. Two ladies are running together. Two gentlemen are running together as well. Are there clearly. This is kind of hard to dial down. These are people who live in the city. You know, I'll give Rockwood an example. I see yard signs around the town. Message boards for Rockwood. I have a message board for our neighborhood. It is one of those things that people, you know, for whatever reason, in the past, they don't pay attention. And you're supposed to stay. Move off the trail. You're just going to stay there and take a picture. Stay there and talk. Every day. Life, they're going to affect you if you have kids in particular. So, what, what's drawing you into this race? So, that common sense sure, is just lacking. I don't want to talk about what my boy is going for and why yeah. I got into it. I do want to talk about a couple of things I'd like to get to, but it, it was a culmination of some things, including the boiling point, which probably first, number one, uh, our president's speech in September, where he was suggesting vaccine mandate possibility. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I heard absolute tyranny in that speech, and then I think it was about two, three weeks later, our board board voted four, three to mask up the kids, and yeah, I, I filed immediately. So that was, you know, I think that, that's really what's driving the parents. When you're knocking on doors and talking to people in the district, what has them fired up? I'm guessing those are issues that do. Absolutely. Uh, no one is asking for CRC. Everyone is asking me, please get rid of COVID yeah. litigation. My school district being sued by the Attorney General as well. That's something they voted for a three. You can start to see some uh, parties in line there. Four take on the Attorney 450. General. Four fifty. Something I don't agree with. Um, I am also the only candidate who filled out, yes, I agree with the Attorney General's lawsuit. And one of the many they have yet to copyright any talk shows things. that I put on YouTube. Have you guys had they, I bet you they won't. All along the line? I bet you none of my uh, talk shows yeah, get copyrighted. We had one on Monday. We had the O'Fallon. If I don't use it in, in, in a way that would the first time all nine candidates via the cop via like copyright rules, it's just plain on the car. And then kind of a, a summary of who we are. But Mark, you'd like to get done. Just from your perspective, you talk about what you want to get done in a second. From your perspective with the other candidates, whether they're incumbents or new candidates, are there people that are vocally supporting more critical race theory, things on those lines, continuing masking the kids? Those positions are probably held by some candidates as well, right? Well, we've got a couple that were very so mask heavy. I don't know that they're saying that now. Uh, as far as CRT, I don't think anyone said, yes, I'm for CRT. Instead, they, they talk about the really? equity, et cetera. You know, CRT's got several angles at this point in time. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your priorities? You get elected to this board in 14 laws. Um, how many years term? Three years? Three years term. Three years. Okay. Yeah, the voters in, in that district will have to vote for two candidates. And um, you can find them, I'm guessing, on the, uh, the website for 14 months. So, so absolutely. what are the goals here? Okay, yeah. number one, uh, I am the only candidate that has been endorsed by the Central Republican Committee. I'm, I'm going to be a conservative voice, pragmatic, common sense, conservative voice. It will be a conservative vote on social and fiscal issues. Uh, number two, and this is something I really want to take a look at, uh, my daughter's in a biomedical track. She's in high school. My son just registered for classes. He's an eighth grader, uh, registered for high school. He's going to be doing an engineering track. It's good for them. Not, it's not the best path for everyone. Uh, our school district has a relationship with the Lewis and Clark Technical School. I'd really like to take a look at that and see what we can do to further develop that, but also promote it as well. I yeah, love that. Uh, younger individuals who said, we're going into the trade. I didn't know we had this offering, and that's where that promotion of it comes from. I think uh, that's important. I, I really do think it's oh, something yeah. that, you know, secondary education is really not really focused on. And I, I mentioned Team recently because he came in a couple of years ago. No, he came in with Len Tendon from the, the unions and promoted these young people who came into the trade where you can make, you know, six figures. You gotta work your ass off. You can make good money. You got a union, maybe a pension. So it is something that kids should know that they have options because I think that's oh, rude and disrespectful of that. This is notion that you have to go to, to college or something like that. Hey, I'll just blast my horn as I pass you on the bike trail. Oh, no, I'm not going. So I'm not that kind of person. To those, those, those types of jobs, and they, as you just said, there's good green jobs, and there's probably some people out there with a nice house, a nice lake house, and a boat, and a lot of me with my two degrees. Right. Um, 
Um, now, professionally, I am a sales trainer. I consider myself a private sector educator. I run a training department. I have students. I make tests. I grade tests, etc. cetera. Uh, something else I do along with that is two different leadership classes. And those two leadership classes involve a day and a half of ropes course activities. Now, I, I've said this a million times, you get a lot accomplished on a day of ropes course. I've got some students up on this who their platform seems to be race tension or mental health, and this isn't mental health because we masked them up and told everybody to fear each other because they're a biohazard, which is mental health in general. So my idea, and it might be a high school, but I'd really like to see how far I can go with this. What if we could instill some sort of a leadership training? I'm not sure if it should be a freshman or sophomore year, but let's put these kids on the road course. I mean, number one, the why, let's instill some leadership traits into these individuals. Get them out of their comfort zone. Test them. Our nation needs big leaders. Now, to speak to the racial tension, it's amazing what happens when you get different people, different backgrounds, different thoughts, but they have to come together to complete a task. Uh, I see this as a very holistic way of solving some challenges, bettering the school's community. Hey, maybe this could help eliminate some more. I don't know. Well, look, I, I like the innovation and you know the thought process there, and I always keep high praise on my friend Tiffany Anderson, who ran the Jennings School District, because she was that innovative person. She didn't depend on other people to get things done. She knew money wasn't coming in. She thought to herself, what can we do differently with maybe the resources that we have to improve education and the learning environment and really to try to build leaders? So, Mark, I appreciate you, you know, you're thinking, to use a cliche out of the box. Mark Pratt, P-R-A-T-T-E, where can people find information in Fort Greenwald on your candidacy? Sure, and that's Mark with a C. So, Mark, you and I, I don't know if he spells it right, but one of them is correct. I'll have to call Mr. Cox. I think Mark Cox spells I think he's got the C. I've got the K. Yeah, I've got the K. Which is the, which is the FanDuel promo code. We have to remember that. M-A-R-K. Mm -hmm. But go ahead, Mark. That's it. Okay, uh, so we've got Mark with a C. Pratt with a E for Fort Greenwald School Board would be my Facebook page. We also have Pratt for Zoomalt.com, and that is spelled out F O R. Uh, I've been very open to people who have messaged me. We've had a lot of dialogue through uh, Messenger on Facebook. You can certainly see some of my thoughts and ideas there. Well, good luck, Mark. I got to run because we're up against the clock here in the news and traffic, but thanks for coming on, Mark Pratt, and good luck on April 5th. Keep us posted, okay? All right. All right, thank you. Starts in April. from the Ambassador Midwest Floor Traffic Center. Stall reported okay. southbound 270 past 44. Watch out for that one. In fact, we had an accident northbound 270 at westbound 44 as well. Now, the accident eastbound 70 is uh, actually... Rehab.com. They also have technology that most physical therapists don't have. The anti-G machine is one example. A really great one, though, is the EPAP machine. Cutting-edge acoustic pressure wave therapy that gets rid of pain so fast allows the body to heal. Most patients are better in only three, five-minute sessions, and you don't have to have a prescription to get started either. 800-518-0977. That's a man so much, but give global returns. Newtown, Doylestown, and Newtown Square, PA, and in